So I am on my way to Coimbra because I'm going to pick up my husband. <laughs> He's coming today. He should be arriving from Lisbon. Don't worry, I'm a good driver. Both hands in the steering wheel. This is on a hands-free, so <laughs> don't be paranoid for me. But uh, the plan is to relax, eat nice food, maybe do some camping as well. Really nice break and be with family and friends. Fun, fun, juice. Oh, hey. He's back! I'm back. For two and a half weeks. <laughs> and I'll be gone again, but I'll be back again too. <laughs> I know we're still inside. Did you no, see it? No, I haven't seen anything. I'm looking in that direction. I can't see, look. Okay. okay. Turn off the car. Get out of it. You are seeing, you I can, can see. see it, yeah. But don't see there. I'm not. I haven't, I haven't looked right yet. Okay, close your eyes. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, have a look. Welcome back. Yeah, good to see you. Nice one. Are you busy? I can see. Yeah, busy enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, everything is doing very well. Yeah. My gosh, look at this guy. <laughs> wow, he's just carrying on growing. He's still having flowers. No, Omar, for reference, is six foot three. Yeah. 183 centimeters. You like it? I love it. I love it. This is all a ours. <laughs> <laughs> Well, do you guys remember the carrots from the other week that we took from here and were pleasantly big? So I'm just gonna make a soup with them because normally I would like to use them as salads. But I think we can actually make a really nice soup with carrots, maybe some sweet potato. My soup, it's looking great. And Omar is just there, imagining the future. You are right. <laughs> yeah. Very happy. He's very tired as well. I've just been showing him the garden, most of the garden, <laughs> but obviously the building is way more interesting. We're really happy to have him back. So why do you need to look at everything else when I'm here? <laughs> just look at me. That's a huge rock in the bottom there. Yeah, well, now we've got a level platform. Pick another huge rock. Yesterday I was cutting quite a few of the backs off them where you don't see it. That's for the corners there. It's about to fix our wall. <laughs> a bit wonky. That was the first one. The reason why it's a little bit wonky is because the faces aren't that straight, you see? That's better if it's straight, but you know, it's a first one. <laughs> you think we have a lot of choice, but the stones are very irregular and you need a, a 90 degree angle for, this, for the corner, so you don't have a huge lot of, of choice, <laughs> unless you cut them like Simon has been doing. There you are. 
<laughs> you couldn't see yourself. Yeah, sorry, all the dust went that way in the end, didn't it? <laughs> it blew it out that way and then went that way. <laughs> Yay! Nice clean cut. Yep. That's all heating anyway, isn't it? Not a lot of use, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that goes against the wall. Yeah. Nice. Something like that. Hey everyone, I'm back as you can see and I am fully motivated. I have to say I'm so happy to be back, definitely. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I was away for just about a month. I was doing an English literature tour all around the UK, which was super interesting because it was never my favourite subject and now I'm slightly more interested. And after that I did a Paris and London tour and I got to see my parents, especially for my mom's birthday. So very happy about that. Happy so, birthday Amina! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah I'm back here for just over two weeks and then I'm back again in the UK working for five. So in these two weeks my intention is to try and get quite a lot done and uh, one of the things that I really want to do and has been on my mind a lot is this utility area. Get me a better place to make laundry. <laughs> <laughs> well it's gonna be a laundry area. It's By the way I'm right here. Yeah. <laughs> So it's gonna it's gonna be like general utility area. Like yeah. I wanna like start feeding the cats from here as well. Yeah. And um, away from the other cat that comes along all the time. Yeah, and make it a lot prettier it. because here it's still very It's not know, pretty. Not at all. So I think we can do a much better job. So the first step is to pull it all away and I suppose you guys are gonna wanna know what we're doing. So this is the sketch up. And now we're gonna start. That's a very cool sketch of Homer. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, all right. Well, let's start clearing it out. Okay. And then the bricks haven't been delivered yet, but they're supposed to come this morning. So. Definitely need a new washer. Ah. Look at that. <laughs> Definitely need a new washer. Yeah. It's on PTSD tape. <laughs> <laughs> Don't remind me. What have I got? What have I started? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to turn the water on at the, by the green gate? Yeah. And I have a very smelly sink coming up. No, lovely. Okay, come on. No. <laughs> okay, so now we can 
remove our very carefully engineered uh, as you can see we like to live on the edge this is just about to fail this was about to fail everything was about to fail but we came and rescued it from how we make it today We uh, took out the sink, the washing machine, we didn't film it. Anyway. Okay, so uh, we were going to do the whole string line thing, which definitely is a good idea if you're doing a large wall. And then uh, we spoke to some people and they said, oh, it's only three bricks wide, so you don't really need to have a string line. So we're going to do a lot of it off lines and levels. People mean Simon. Simon, yes, <laughs> not professional. So we're just going to draw a kind of vertical line up here now. Yeah. And we're going to follow off of this uh, concrete placker. Right now we just want to draw a line up. So we can follow it up. Exactly. And we're gonna just place it on the container. I think I'm gonna do it like a couple mil away yeah. from the concrete placker as well. Because here we're gonna continue the tunnel groove and then we're going to hide it all with a potential door in the future. But we're not there yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, look, it just sucks it in. Like you're like making an ice cream. That sort of thing. <laughs> How's it going? I'm learning. <laughs> <laughs> but this is this is practice because we're going to make the most awesome barbecue area. And luckily all of our brickwork now is going to get hidden behind stuff. But still it's going to look nice anyway. But uh, the barbecue will look even better because we're practicing. And look, it does look like a wall. Look at that. Yeah. What I've done is uh, over here, this, this is a bit too far and this is a bit too close. So I need to start worrying about my spacing between the bricks yeah but it's, it's not great. easy i was doing some and i i found it very frustrating yeah simon's going on his motorbike he looks like a power ranger well done for continuing because yeah, i was gonna, finding it just carry on going it smells great whatever you're cooking so <laughs> thank you Not quite ready to build a house out of bricks, <laughs> but uh, I see the principles are in action. How's it going? It's cool. I'm getting there. I just worked out that when you have to do it where there's two halves and two in the middle, you're going to have an extra. Uh, Bit of pointing. Oh. Yeah. Because there's three there and then when you've got three you've only got two. So in a way you have to be more generous with the first one. So the second one isn't like enormous. Yeah. You see what I mean? And so these you have to be a little bit less. And it makes more of a difference now because it's it's such a small wall, so
So we've done one here. Oh yeah. We have cleaned it so it looks nicer and we have clean around here as well. That will be able to be cleaned better afterwards. And now it's just starting the other side. So maybe we have something by tomorrow already. <laughs> <laughs> We got two ends now and over here well we obviously need to cut some more we need to use Simon's angle grinder for that and then another one here which is less tidy but you know that's the first one and then well done I approve very cool and then tomorrow we can do more and then work top it's gonna be difficult but I'm really excited because we can use a lot of different materials we always wanted to use like micro cement and stuff like that but yeah good job Omar <laughs> So guys, I want to tell you about this new product we got today from Waterdrop, and that is the water filtration TSU system, which is quite different to the previous system they gave us, which was the reverse osmosis, and we are so happy with that. Uh, we're going to use that one in the other house, actually, so we're keeping on to that. Now, this new one is perfect for our off-grid setup because not only is it smaller, it doesn't require electricity, it runs off batteries. Now, what I'm going to do today is swap it all around and try it out. The water drop filter includes a three-stage tankless water filtration system and that consists of a 0.01 micron ultra membrane that wipes out 99.9% .9 of bacteria, heavy metals, fluorides and chlorides. It's going to ensure that the water you drink from this thing is going to be vastly superior than if you were to take water from the normal tap. Plus, it has a water flow rate of 0.6 gallons per minute, so you'll fill your water bottles up in no time. How does it taste over? Really good. Yeah. I have to say, yeah, definitely. It's better than that. One of the best parts is that it's environmentally friendly, there's no waste water, there's no power source needed, and the filters, they last for 24 months and they're super easy to replace, and generally the whole thing is super easy to install. If you'd like to find out more information about this, you can scan the QR code just here, or you can click on the link in the description down below. We'd like to say a big thank you to Waterdrop for sponsoring this video and to all of you, happy filtering. All right, so it's the next day and I am very, very tired. I really am quite surprised at how much my back hurts after building those two little walls, but I'm gonna plow on through and build the two internal ones today and maybe start increasing the, the height of the other two I made yesterday and to get it ready for the concrete worktop, basically. So I'm waiting for Simon to cut the blocks. Uh, he's got a nice big angle grinder. Yeah, I'm gonna start making my mix and start getting ready. Yeah, another gorgeous day. Tomorrow's gonna be rain, so we need to make the most of it.
making it look like cohesive it will weather later and it will blend in very inventive yeah. what do you think luna she thinks i'm hunting <laughs> how's it going it's going very well <laughs> I think I'm literally operating twice the efficiency compared to yesterday. My aim is to get both of these walls done by lunchtime. <laughs> yesterday it took me until 6.30 to do both of these. So. <laughs> and then you need to let it cure for a bit, don't you? Yeah. Before you can do the top. Mm -hmm. Yesterday it took ages because the, this mix was so hard by the end and you couldn't get the bricks to move around. And yeah, it's it's amazing. Once once it's once it's easy, then it's just easy and it's fun. Actually, it's not like ah. ah. <laughs> oh yeah, you're getting much more, much better the hang of it. I know it looks more even. The mix being put on. Well done. Thank you. Uh, a natural bricklayer. <laughs> Here comes Kitty. He's not Kitty, he's 12 years old. What's up? Look how nice that position, very nice and even. Uh, I'm definitely getting better. You're definitely getting loads better. How's it going? Good, really good. Exhausted, yet again. Very nice that I'm no longer putting bricks on the floor, so they're now kind of like almost wayside. So they're all bending too much. Yeah, so I'm on my ninth row. And I'm just finishing off this area over here, and I need to go to 12 rows, but I'm going to leave the last row for when we do the shuttering. Go. Enjoying yourself? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <Feel> good. <laughs> Brick layer. <laughs> I haven't been very active on the video because I have been flat out editing. Tomorrow I will be doing a little bit of the irrigation. I'm not very happy with how it came out because there is a lot of leaks everywhere. We really just want to use what we've got and um, not buy more more systems or anything but if it's necessary then maybe we do that but i just show you now what simon has done we've gotten to the point of the window with the stone more stones here i show you earlier how he was trying to blend that in because he had to cut this stone over here to fit it as an l shape as a corner and he just chipped away so it looked a bit more natural and then he just filled in the rest with the smaller stone and I think it looks amazing. What a great job.
Simon to the rescue, basically. Yeah. So my fine brick walls do need a little bit of... Uh, Just a bit of tweaking, that's all. A little all. tweaking. Oh, cool. Just make sure it's all straight. So, so it's being that. shuttered, and then we're going to put the concrete <coughs> worktop on top, right? Yeah. Which will be... <coughs> it's not too bad, though, the brick wall. No. For the first time. It's pretty good attempt, though, right? Yeah. So, as you can see, the weather's pretty crap today. So it's nice to have a, a break away from the rain and not have to work on it, obviously. <laughs> so Simon's, yeah, he's helping me out. And um, later on, we might go to Coimbra to pick up a few things uh, for the concrete top. I found out that they have micro cement and wax. So I think we're going to do a top layer of micro cement and the bottom with normal cement. But you can do the whole thing with normal cement, to be honest with you. Anyway, yeah, back to work. Unfortunately, I have to uh, do lots of admin and catch up. So that's what I'm doing. Oh my gosh. They're all level. Yes. This is why you get professionals involved. Okay, so it's a fine Sunday morning. I thought it might be a good idea to have a look at the strimmer because the land is really, really quite full on at the moment, so it really needs a good trimming. Now, Andrea was using this while I was away and she told me that the choke wasn't working and also the on and off switch is stopped working. So when you turn the thing on, it doesn't actually turn off. You have to run out of fuel, which is definitely not what you want to do. So yeah, I'm gonna take it apart this morning and see if I can find the problem. probably do with a new air filter. So the choke I think is working, it's just the filter is very filthy so um, it's not being very effective. So we need a new filter pad. And also the on and off switch, I think there's a problem with the actual switch because I checked all the connections and they seem to be all right. So I'm going to see if I can get a replacement switch for it. All right, so what I've come to, my conclusion in the garden, is that I really need to change somewhat the irrigation system because I've got too many connections and those connections are starting to deteriorate. I don't think it's the best quality either. So um, I'm going to change them to the rigid pipe and avoid as much connections of, as possible and also i'm going to be putting a lot of mulch i have been calling it wrong the things that i've been putting on i didn't know there was a difference between hay and straw but there is <laughs> i do have straw i don't have hay because so a lot of you were saying oh maybe hay has got seeds it's very green and it's not the greatest thing but it's actually straw so i think we we go with that but I might be going also this week to um, my local woodyard because they have pine bark and apparently it's actually really good to use and it's not treated and, and it's really nice so I think that probably will do even better because it's going to be compacted more and then put the irrigation on top of that so that's what we're going to do I'm going to start here because this one doesn't have any irrigation and as you can see doing really well and I got a cucumber over here look at that I need to harvest it today oh I got my braces off <laughs> the other one was cheaper I was trying to save money sometimes you can't 
you have to go for the for the one that works best. having a lot of trouble with these connections over here I just found them particularly fiddly so I'm gonna take them off but it's fine this one is softer so it goes in better alrighty an off question here do I wait for this the next to bend down or do I just do another very big and I just don't want to take them out before it needs to I don't even know if they need water anymore I think before doing any hay I should really check on the irrigation see if it works shouldn't I so I'm going to do that there's one more bit that I need to close a loop and then after that I can connect it. Do you remember how some episodes ago I said that these were really rubbish? Well it turns out they're very useful for closing this pipe. This is the last bit guys. I can't believe we've done it. <laughs> Alrighty. And then we're gonna put one of these. Okay, so we got a working irrigation system after like, what, three months of figuring it out, but it worked. I'm very happy with it. There is no leaks, there are minimal dripping leaks, but they kind of like serve as dripping purpose as well. So I'm gonna leave it on for like half an hour. I'm gonna monitor how much water we're spending as well. I will put some mulch later, but I'll probably do that when the sun is a bit more down and then we can just cover a little bit of the ground because it's really hot and it's gonna get even hotter but I'm really happy that we finally sorted the irrigation system, it's amazing. 